Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to review Visions of Star Wars Visions Series 2. This is an absolutely fantastic series. I really liked this series too. So right, let's talk about, obviously the first season was mainly about like anime and anime uh, episodes I guess. But now it gets much more interesting because we have claymation, we have just animation, we have anime. And we have like, um, yeah, I guess all, all kind of like drawings and you know, uh, handmade episodes I believe too but anyway ladies and gentlemen let's talk about them the first episode was called Sith so during the reign of the Sith Lola and former Sith apprentice ha that has rejected the dark side lives in a solitude on a desolate planet with her droid E2 and is trying to channel the force into painting her base however despite her efforts the paint keeps forming dark smudges that can't go away while investigating a droid that crashed on the planet she is suddenly visited by her former Sith master who <laughs> chases her down to her base and forces her to fight him inside he insists that she is to become a new Sith master by killing him love comes to a realization that she needs to accept both light and dark halves and promptly kills the Sith master when her double edged light produces one yellow and one red blade that rejects him as a crumbles to death now in control of her own destiny Lola finishes the painting and leaves the planet with E2 this was a very interesting beginning I really like that they incorporated the colors in this episode but alright hey I'm going to give it a 7, 8 out of 10, it was enjoyable. Episode 2 was called Screechers Regents for some reason, I didn't even add like description here uh, from Wikipedia, but anyway, I'm going to describe it. So a few of the friends, uh, well, a few friends, I guess, um, actually escape like, uh, was it like their, their factory or whatever to go and explore the world, but one gets trapped inside a cave where he encounters some kind of Sith Lord, and um, he actually... Uh, he actually um, survives that and uh, the Sith Lords gets killed by like uh, f uh, falling boulders or whatever and uh, yeah there we go they fly off into the forever and beautiful sky. In the third episode called In the Stars during the reign of the Empire two sisters Kotan and Tishini uh, or Tishina, it's uh, possible that I said those names wrong, anyway, are the last of their kind after the Empire conquered their planet and committed genocide on their species. Their mother, a force sensitive, led a failed rebellion against Empire who have created a factory that took their clean water. She was killed in the, uh, this, no, she was killed in the resulting conflict. Anyway, they essentially tried to get that factory back, I guess, or, or their water back, I guess, so that's nice. And I really like the claymation or like the animation in this episode. It was so smooth to watch. It, w it was like very realistic. So that's why I probably liked it. I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. I really like that one. Episode 4 was called I Am Your Mother. Made by the same studios that made Wallace and Gromit. And I also believe Shaun the Sheep. But anyway, dude, this was about like a Twilight daughter. And the Twilights are very cool in Star Wars. No gonna lie, one of my favorite Star Wars species. And uh, so the Twilight daughter is part of the pilot academy and uh, yeah you know she she likes it there but there's this race and uh, she actually forgets something at home and her mother comes in uh, on on the literal literal racing uh, racing uh, circuit i guess and uh, she kind of makes her daughter em embarrassed but then they actually win the race and it's fantastic you know it's one of those art man stories and i'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 dude i really like art man and uh, i like this episode so much and yeah, I was really excited when they announced it, uh, when they were dropping this series. Journey to the Dark Head uh, is uh, during the initial war between the Jedi and the Sith. Uh, and this and this monk named Ara believes that the statue is on her home planet, whose stone around its base have foretelling abilities, control both light and dark. As one is lit in the blue light and one in the red light, she revolves to destroy the dark head in the belief it can turn the tide of the war. Years later, Ara, now a teenage mechanic, requests the Jedi Council for a bodyguard on her quest. Anyway, I think, you know, I think I, I pretty much didn't really uh, pay attention that much during this episode, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It was enjoyable, so hey, why not write? In the sixth episode, to Spy Dance, around 20 years after the formation of the Empire, a group of aliens with hetero heterochromia and <laughs> small horns run a <coughs> high class club which is frequent, uh, frequent by, frequented by stone troops. There we go. It is revealed that the club's primary dancer, Loi Loi, leads a faction of the Rebel Alliance that consists of the rest of her staff, and she places trackers on the stone troops' armor during her dance performances. <coughs> Anyway, I did not really like the animation, but I really liked the story, so I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. So, um, yeah, this was a really interesting story, so, yeah, there we go. We had, like, um, I guess, 
respire be beneath us, right? Uh, thinking uh, or some people probably think, oh my god, this girl is just doing her performance. Psych, she's actually a spy. She wants to ruin your life. Boom. So I really like that story. Another great inclusion was the bandits of Gulak or something during the Galactic Civil War. Churuk and Rani are siblings that were forced to flee their home and are headed to the city of Gulak for refugee. Rani is being targeted because she is force sensitive with Charuk dis uh, disparately, dis disparately, you know what, tries to hide and are nearly caught when on the train ride to Gulak only to be saved when a rebel group called the Jangoris attacked the Sun Trooper guarded train. I really liked the story. Animation was great. The story was pretty cool. Uh, Rani also gets left uh, from her brother because she is going to be trained like a force sensitive being, like I guess a Jedi, whatever. It's nice. I'm going to give this episode a let's say uh, nine out of ten. I really liked the animation. The story was great, but uh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much uh, that. And the second last episode was the pit. So just after the empire is conquered, a large group of a uh, large group of imperial slaves were captured, and they needed to dig a pit. But when the empire uh, was done actually grabbing uh, kyber crystals from that pit, they left the prisoners there. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, one prisoner actually uh, tried to climb up and got to a city, and uh, eventually he got helped by the citizens. So yeah, I really liked this episode too. I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. So the last episode was called A A Was a Song or something. So we have uh, the native girl, which is named Ahua, seems to have an unusual effect on the crystals, so kyber crystals in this case, and she tried to sing. Her father Abat is trying to help a jazz named Kratu with finding a way to heal crystals, but warns Ahua that her singing is dangerous. At la a last, I guess uh, they get uh, captured inside a cave and. Uh, uh, Ahu, Ahu, uh, anyway, the main character needs to sing to get out of there and the Jedi uh, recruits her in her uh, mission to become a force sensitive being, I guess. So yeah, there we go. I liked the animation, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. This was a really banger series so far. Uh, season 2 was, you know, this one was epic. So hopefully they'll get a season 3 because I really like enjoying these stories uh, as told in the Star Wars universe but not connected. Like that are connected to like other Star Wars, you know, uh, stories or something. They're all pretty much new uh, characters and new stories. Some actually have like Jedi and uh, Kyber crystals and stuff like that. Some actually have like Wedge and Tailies, like the one with the um, Artman uh, episode. So yeah, I just really like these episodes, man. It's like animation. It's like an animation fest, man. You have like anime, you have claymation. You have so much and I really like it. So hopefully they'll get a series 3 or maybe 4 in the future. So alright ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you later. Goodbye everyone. I made the force video. It's showtime. It's showtime. The storm is approaching. I can fight them. I'm strong enough now. No one is stronger than them.